So when your rat is ready to dry, it will be a bright white. Mine's not quite ready, and you can paint them before they're dry, but I recommend waiting, because otherwise you could push something or change the sculpture. I'll be really careful, and I'll make sure that he stays, his, keeps his shape while I paint. Um, one thing that we want to do is we want to use an acrylic to paint, paint the rat, and we're going to use a smaller brush, especially for children. Um, we're working around some delicate areas, and when these ears and legs are dry, we want to make sure that they're not using a big brush that can sometimes push them over. So we're going to choose, we'll use some blue on our rat, and we'll start to coat him. And I want, want to make sure that I get all the different angles and sides of our rat. We want to make sure that he's covered really well. This will give us a nice effect when he's when he's completely dry, when the paint is dry. We can add some tempera glitter paint to his body when we're done. We want to be careful to work around our mixed media. Um, we want to paint the underside too, but we'll start with the top, wait till that's dry, and then we can do the belly. Um, we want to make sure that when we do leave him to dry, um, we can turn him over and prop him up, maybe on this side because this would be the strongest. Prop him up with something here so that his belly can dry. Um, and we can add different colors. We can make him more realistic or a little bit more um, fantasy. We want to make sure that we do coat the entire rat. Add as many colors as you like. <laughs> 